Hello and welcome to 19 Byron. Um, property defined as the wire fence, which I'm imagining this must be the original, judging from the, the date, shape, and all the rest of it. It goes to there. So my car is technically a little bit inside that line or outside that line, sorry, but I can pull up a bit further. So most vehicles should fit in there. Um, property line running down, butted up with the fence of the neighbor's rear there. So it looks to be in order. Um, you can see inside there, electrical services going into the living room there, the stack. Take a look at the panel in a moment. Um, just this fence enclosure to kind of shut off the property it appears to be just fine for now. There might have been some other things happening before that, but I don't see a problem with its current setup. We have um, a roof looking to be rather new with um, architectural shingles and um, venting and everything. The back, however, I think has an older shingle on it which we can't unfortunately see from our elevation. Uh, we have our downspout here, which has lost part of its um, boot, I guess, that would take the water away from the house. It is instead sending right down there. It almost looks as if the sunroom has like sunken inside of the footing. It's hard to say. It just looks like earth below there. Whereas over here, we have a bit more of a footing scenario. I can see it going across cement underneath there which is good the house should be up six inches from the earth on all sides like even just anything above the earth is great not into the earth um, the rest of the house seems to be fine on that front soffits aren't vented but we do have a bit of roof venting going up there um, eaves probably need a cleaning definitely missing some flashing there that wood will eventually deteriorate and critters can get inside should there be a tin pot up there um, your hydro in appears to be pretty old, but I don't see any issues there. Got your old cable and everything going in. Walking around. Um, window casings are seeing some signs of weathering, but you can probably just peel and recock and kind of protect everything. Like older caulking and stuff has been used for a sealing product. Elsewhere may need an update at some point with this little awning and downspout situation coming off of another entry door that appears to have been like not used for a while with the rose bush there. Some exterior lighting, which is great. This whole sidewalk around, lots of cracks in it. As long as there isn't trip hazards for your tenants, um, everything will be fine. Um, it's your water reader there. The meter is just inside by the door there. Um, just a lean-to structure for that walkway in that was um, exterior on our side of the door at some point and that little deck that's been created is kind of like deteriorating. Shouldn't be a big fix. Uh, we have this bunkie they call it here um, which has a bed in it. The whole footing for this appears to be made out of wood that has started to deteriorate. Um, it does need to be concrete or some kind of product that can withstand nature. Um, this I believe to be just absorbing water and sending it into the floor structure in here, which I believe just on earth for grade. Um, you're already seeing some slumping where some flooring systems have failed here. Yeah, it's just kind of like in here crunching underneath me. Um, a chipboard product in here, which as it gets wet, kind of absorbs water and releases a bit of a formaldehyde scent. Um, whatever chemical it is they're using to make the um, finishings, like a pressure treated type wood. Uh, not quite up to today's standard. All painted, I think in general, like top down, the structure is pretty okay like flashing roofing material and everything like that but earth up i don't have a lot of optimism about it so it could be a bit of a liability for you if you're not worried about it being here um not a huge deal 
like is it needed for what you're trying to do here yeah and they've got this plywood all the way around the base which isn't the proper material to have that finished off in so i don't know if maybe someone's hiding something or what but i think my instincts are correct on this one you can see the roof structure sort of exposed there but also mostly covered um, this is electrified back here so electricity is run back um, depending on what you want to do electrician may be uh, involved if you were to demo it here just like cinder block on earth bit of a mixed media i thought that was concrete there but i tested and it's wood and uh just some signs of failing there i don't see any signs of rodents or anything but you would imagine they would want to be in a structure like this um, all lights i was able to test did come, oh wait this one did not come on and the bunkie obviously it did because they were on as you could see roof again looks good from this side on the house i'll try and show you there was a problem. Also with the propane, we want to double check the utilities here. I guess this must be on propane for its um, heat and cooking and everything. You can see like a hole going under here, underneath that deck. There's lots of signs inside of the home of them treating rodents. You can just have pest control by any kind of rental property. You should have that anyways with some like uh, kill zone, bait box scenarios that should take care of everything. You can see our nice footing going underneath the structure here, nice size anyways. And then this shingle material that I believe to be different than the rest, just kind of laid on the sloping roof. Now that's important when we go inside because we will see some water damage um, on the interior and we want to know that's true. It could be as simple as just finishing that roof off, but you never know what's happened underneath that. Um, there's a propane line here. Let's switch to natural. We can check on the listing to see if they switched from propane with the tank still being there. I'd imagine it must be. Uh, we have an expired AC unit back here. At some point there was AC in this house. I don't think so now. Outdoor electrical here would fail. They need a GFI if that even still has power running to it, probably. Nice big lot. It's a good size. Um, I believe that's the best we can do here with any kind of access into your basement crawl space, whatever that's going to be. I have a feeling it's just going to be a dirt floor in there. Um, you want to have that vented. I'm going to guess they're going to tell you to make sure that the wood and everything doesn't start to rot. Um, foundation pour there is falling a little bit and has some deterioration but i don't know if that's going to be a structural issue given how it's kind of outside of foundation area it could be just some kind of like thick parging that was put on afterwards another example there of what probably was like a, a vent that was later covered um, we have this black pipe here that I believe to be like a laundry stack. I'm not qualified to tell you if that's to code, but I certainly don't normally see, or plumbing stack, sorry, but I don't normally see them looking like that. They usually go up and out the roof. Like that is what I normally see for plumbing stack. So some identification on that. of the foundation and then this other concrete here with rebar in it is just a garden bed don't believe there's any other observations to make in the yard so we'll go inside quick old vent for something there that appears to be blocked off Um, I heard a train go by earlier. It actually wasn't as loud as I was guessing. Stepping inside. So here's where I see a little bit of, it's not as in bad shape as that little spot there. I'm not sure why that's deteriorating more than anywhere else. Maybe some water comes down here when it rains more. I don't see the signs of it right now. And there has been a lot of rain today. Um, 
Some of this obviously has been replaced recently. Inside we have a bit of a foyer and a galley kitchen. There is another entrance into the home, but it goes to the living room, so you will have to enter into one of the functional rooms. There's your water meter, as I mentioned, just inside there. Don't see any access inside to a crawl space, so I'm going to guess it is just those spots in the foundation that I showed you before. In this closet, we have our furnace. Um, model that makes sense for this size of home. And in here, we have some plumbing lines going under. It's possible that maybe that lifts up and that's how you'd get down. I'm just thinking like if you ever had to service the plumbing or anything, how you would get to that. Um, but everything appears to be running fine right now. We have a gas stove there, as well as your washer, dryer, and fridge. Um, not a ton of cupboard space, as you can see. There's sort of like a bit of a setup here. Um, not sure how functional these little guys are, but uh, you can definitely store stuff in there. And I guess your main deal would be in there for like all your plates and cutleries and kitchen stuff. There is some room inside the island here. Oh, I didn't notice the plumbing line there. I don't know what that would be going for running outside. Because the plumbing water's coming in on the other side of the house. Some question mark there, I guess. Um, electrified with GFI Island more storage there I think all in all you kind of get your storage all put together oh sorry that plumbing line I guess must be for the hot water tank maybe anyways that's in the closet here electrical you can kind of see the cable it's a bit dark um, any kind of plumbing that's on an outside wall like that does kind of raise a concern in the winter you would want it to freeze up but this has been here forever and I'm sure Everything is fine. More outlets there. The floor generally has like a little bit of a bounce to it, but that doesn't have to be crazy for the age of the home. Although you do see some sloping and slumping in the house in here. Um, so there's just concerns in general about what is beneath us and not being able to see it. Uh, normally a big part of my home walkthroughs is getting down into the basement and kind of in investigating the joists. Um, but basically, if you wanted to correct anything as is, you will have to pull up all the carpet, if not double carpet, um, pull off the underlay and uh, floorboards and address the joists from above. Um, there's probably like a foot of space beneath us, maybe two where you can kind of step in and work around all that if anything needs replacing. Out in the sunroom here, you can see where some water is kind of come through. There's a bit of a different odor in here. Just sort of like worried about that corner where we saw things slumping a bit, but otherwise this room is pretty, um, Exterior, it's probably like a three season room here. It's like a bump out from the house. So it's not super structurally important, but is something that may have to be removed from the home at some point if it fails. Uh, we have an extension of the kitchen out here. I imagine this. Hmm, I'm wondering, like, with the house being only technically one bedroom. If you probably want to close off over here as a second bedroom, it would have the panel in it, but it's not completely uncommon. Um, you'd want to have its own lighting solution instead of one that's where the wall would be. So that would be a consideration, but then you can up to a two bedroom. And then we can figure out a living room and dining room with the space that's left. This could be just like one big bedroom. You have some dining space for two people in the kitchen where you walk in, like right here under that light. 
dining table, nice and quaint looking outside, and then pull this out and you have your living room, which is not the smallest I've ever seen. Um, floor is really slumping in this area here. So I'd like to uh, make sure your home inspection addresses that. A really big bathroom in here with a four piece. Um, I looked under, it's just carpet. There's not any kind of like special flooring to write home about. Um, turn that fan off, it's a little noisy. Uh, so it's not like you're gonna be recovering any kind of hardwood floors or anything like that, that's what I'm getting at. And then into this bedroom, the ceiling does slope off to probably about six feet at the far wall, which is fine. Um, the windows are 1994, and that's probably the same all throughout the home. Um, this is where I saw a couple signs of potential water intrusion. Um, hard to say, but the home inspector would be figuring all of that out. Not sure why there's electrical in the closet. Um, this grating here does go right in over into the kitchen. So any odors from in there would be venting into this room if you don't have your hood fan on. Some pretty uh, makeshift closets and stuff, but I'm sure your tenants won't mind as long as they have enough space to store everything. Uh, there's not like odors coming off the carpet, but they do look pretty worn and old. So probably a consideration to have those replaced. Um, it's always sad to put down flooring on a floor structure that needs to be replaced in the next like five or 10 years, which Home Spectre may be able to tell you more about. Um, so finishing this home for your tenants and that whole balance of what to renovate when might come into play here. Um, unless you put down something, something super cheap on top of these carpets, sorry, underneath these carpets, when you pull them out, um, that won't be a big deal to lose if you have to replace the flooring structure at some point, uh, a couple thermostats, question marks on what's going on there. Um, typically multiple furn or multiple, uh, thermostats means like baseboard heat where you can zone control. But we just have the one furnace here, so one's probably outdated. And this newer one here, I guess, maybe controls the furnace. I'll ask some questions about that, though. Um, yeah, consideration with um, heating costs. It might cost the tenants a lot to heat the home, but no way to tell at the moment. We'll see if there's any kind of record with the listing agent, but that's about it for my uh, little walkthrough here. Hope this was helpful.